about to listen to the voice of deliverance by Apostle Evans O. Samuel of Christ and His Church Ministries International, aka Arena of Deliverance and Recall. Prophecy can predict something. Prophecy can tell you this is how it will look. Now, why do we say it's predicting? Because it has not come to the reality. Now we are looking at it with the eyes of the spirit and say this child will become this. Now sometimes it goes beyond prediction to reality because prophecy will come as it has been said. Now it's no longer under prediction, it has become what a reality. Can I speak to somebody here? You cannot fail. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I say you cannot fail. That which you are meant to be that was spoken by the word of God, you will surely become. I cannot hear that in my way. Shut the enemy and shut it well. Shut the enemy and shut it well. Shut the enemy and shut it well. In the name of Jesus. You thought you are safe? Or not to you? They actually send that person to investigate you. There are people who are in your office now. They become a very close friend to you. Or not to you. They are trying to investigate you. They are asking you, which school did you go to? They are asking you, who is your husband? They are asking you, what is the weakness of your husband? And you, wife, that do not know what she's meant to say. Say, ah, my husband is very weak. Why is he just touching like this? Say, hmm. Or not to you. Anytime blessing is coming, they are evil projected to stop the blessing. Uh, many of you can blame Samson, but Delilah was not an ordinary person. Delilah was endorsed, sanctified, and even sent by the ghost of the Philistine. Delilah her the money she was paid, she was not an ordinary person. The ghost of the Philistine has entered, Sam's, entered the line to stop Samson from fulfilling his destiny. That's why people, when you are around people, be very careful. When people are around you, be very careful. When you are saying your project that you are doing, be very careful. Because there are people who will hear it, you will not finish it. Is somebody hearing me? There are people who will hear it. That's why whenever we get home, we begin to pray for all the testimony that is testified here. That any power assigned to swallow the testimony, all you swallow them. Because there are people you tell outside. You begin to show them the photo of your structure. You begin to show them the photo of your building. You begin to show them the number of cars you have. Let me tell you the truth. Not all of them are happy immediately they left you. The mount, yes, demonstrate battle. But the strength of battle is in the heart. What people have in the heart against you is more than what their mouth is saying. I think I'm pressure. Oh, yes. What people have in their heart against you uh, is more than. I was giving Peter here prophecy here on Friday. He, he might not understand what I was saying. The people who want to do what I saw are his friends. Why? Because of envy and jealousy. There are people who come to your shop. They stay in your shop. They are not doing anything tangible. Whenever they see transaction going in and out, they see you putting money in your pocket. They get angry. Or not to them, you are a destiny that must be fulfilled. They are there. They are angry. People don't know the sacrifice you have made for you to get to this level. People don't know what you have gone through for God to raise you up. People don't know the thick and the thin line that you have passed in the journey of life for you to be where you are. You buy a car today, they say, why will you drive a car? They don't know how many times you walk from Hebrew, walk from, from, from Yove to town. You walk to a level whereby even all the street kids, they know you say, bros, You are passing by, the, everybody know you. There are some of you now that street kids, they will never rob you again because they know your level. <laughs> Shall I preach here? Yeah? Yes. Now, you pray to God and God lift you higher. The same people who never knew what you went through, now they are fighting your breakthrough. Can I tell you this? Whenever God starts blessing you, don't forget what you went through before the blessing came. Ah, yeah. 
Is somebody hearing me here? Whenever God start blessing you, never you forget what you went through before the blessing came. Why many people lost their blessing, misused their blessing, is because they are forgotten what they went through before the blessing what the blessing came. You are suffering to buy one bag of mini mini before. Now God bless you. You can go outside and use your money anyhow. Hey babe, what's up? Where are you? Show. Okay, don't worry. When he show, show will show. <laughs> you are busy wasting your money. Can I tell you this? <laughs> Irrespective of the dryness, prepare for the rainy day. Amen. The way the money is flowing now, the money might not continue to flow. You will live on the ones you saved. Is somebody hearing me? Things are changing. Businesses are changing. You might be the godfather of happiness now. In time will come where people will no longer play their hair again. It will become uh, fashion will be out. Is somebody hearing me? Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Where everybody will carry their natural hair. Where everybody will begin to bab, bab cheese cup. You will see some women, their hair will long, but they are beautiful. Somebody shot fire. <laughs> somebody shot fire. No, it's true. See some women, very beautiful. But hey, the hair is very nice. The bab, <laughs> the bab cheese cup. Are you hearing me? Sometimes it's better you watch yourself in the mirror before you go for hairstyle. Yes. Don't say because your friend did it, you too you want to do it. Yes. <laughs> you are not carrying the same shape. Oh. Know how it be. Oh. Before you go and tell the baba, just remove everything. Yes. <laughs> By the time we, you come out, we say, ah, is that you? <laughs> Somebody shot fire. fire. <laughs> Somebody shot fire. Everybody are selling cars now. When they started this business, people were selling it fast, fast. There are people who will put car in their shop now since more they've not sold. Don't think that what you are doing now will last forever. That is why you must update yourself so that you will not go out of fashion. So if you are making money now and you think that yes, you are the king of jungle, you can spend the money as the way you feel like. When the money finish. That is when you will know what they call sati. Somebody says sati. God is blessing you now. Instead of you to invest the money well, you are forgotten how you suffered. You are forgotten where God took you from. You are forgotten all the insult, how you slept in the cold, how they chased you, your wife and your children outside the house. You are forgotten how you couldn't eat. Now God tested you with little. And as the money enter your hand, then you say you are going to block the road. Don't worry. Very soon, they will block you. In every prophecy that a man receives, there's an enemy attached to fight the prophecy. In every prophecy that you receive, you have received the prophecy, it's not for fun. It's a guide. Prophecy is a guide. You will marry a rich man. Oh, don't go home and sleep and be laughing and be waiting for the rich man. You can wait and you die with that fulfillment of the prophecy. Oh, you are going to be the richest man in your family. Hey, don't go home and sleep. You must awake and begin to command the prophecy to receive power to manifest. Hey, you are going to be the richest person in Christ and his church ministry. My dear, don't go and sit down because there are forces that will say, though you have had it, but you will not become that which men have said but I come here to minister to you every good prophecy that you have received it shall manifest I say it shall manifest I say it shall manifest in the name of Jesus quickly read the scripture for me because of time read the scripture for me Je judges Again, the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord. Uh -huh. And the Lord delivered them into the hand of the Philistines for 40 years. Now there was for a many certain years? 40. That's why we must be careful. We must be what? We must be careful. We must be careful. When you do evil against God, if you don't run back to God, God will open gates of enemy that were shut to bombard you. And do you know that there are people who dishonor God when problem come, they will run back to God. Is it not true? It's true, sir. Why certain why demons don't die is because demons are made for correction. Hmm. Demons are made for what? For, for correction. correction. Now they did evil in the sight of the Lord. God would have just okay, 
let serpent bite them and not kill them for one day. No, God put them in bondage for 40 years. That means there are people who never saw the mercy of God till they died mm. in that generation. Jesus. We must be very careful. Don't say, who is God? Don't try to know God in his wrath. Yes, because the wrath of God is terrible. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hand of God. When I see where people speak against God, speak against the church of God, speak against the prophet of God, I carry my things and run. Mm. Yeah, quickly. Now there were sent certain men of Zora of the fam family of the Danites, whose name was Manoah, and his wife was barren and had no children. Uh -huh. And the angel of the Lord appeared to the woman and said to her, uh -huh. Indeed, now, Indeed you are, now you are a barren and have born no children. Can I tell you this? Sometimes there could be a delay. But what comes out of the delay is unexplainable. Is somebody hearing me? Yes. Sometimes there can be delay. People can reproach you your delay. They can say you are barren. They can say you are not working. They can say you are this. They can say you are that. There are people who are insulting you today because they are the one giving you food to eat. There are people who are embarrassing you today because they are the one who put you, put, that put you in the house. But don't worry. You can be barren resources wise. You can be barren economically. But listen to me. When God decides to open that womb of prosperity, those who insult you will come to you. Amen. Is somebody hearing me here? I hear you, sir. Many people must have insulted this woman, but unknown to them, the seed that will come from this woman Oi. is the seed that will deliver them. Amen. You will deliver your family. Amen. You will deliver your friends. Amen. You will deliver your community. Amen. You will deliver your nation. Amen. You will deliver your society. Amen. You will deliver your community. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. But you shall conceive and bear a son. You shall conceive and be a son. Uh huh. Now, therefore, can I tell you this? Any child that comes from you is not a cause, it's a blessing. Mm, amen. Did you hear me? I hear you, sir. If your parents, you are here, you are denying your child because of a man, most especially women. You are denying your own seed because you met a man that said he wants to marry you. Are you, do you have a child? Say, no. You don't know what you have done. There are women who deny themselves. I have prophetically identified a baby here in the life of one of our sisters here. I gave the prophecy. I never knew she was having a child. I said, your child is so, so years, almost 18 years. I said, you not do like this. I said, I do like this. <laughs> Somebody shot fire. Fire. Why should you deny your child? Because you want a man to marry you. You must try to understand that you are hiding in a short while it will manifest hey. 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 Ah, she did not have her daughter I think the girl is almost 18 years and I don't know how old is she maybe the first time she just have a menstrual circle did she enter and when men ask her do you have a child say no have you ever seen me with a child we are not seeing you with a child doesn't mean you don't have yes Come out with your children. Yes. Say, my friend. My friend. Bring out your own. Bring out your own. Please. Children are blessing. They are not meant to be hidden. Yes, sir. There are some people now that keep their children in Eastern Cape. They will come to your bank. Yes, <laughs> what? Deeper. The soul you are hiding. It's already pregnant children here. Yeah. Are you you are saying you don't have? One day we will know. Somebody said we will know. We will know. Haba. Corner. I corner. Yes. Imagine. You are denying your own children. Mm. They will ask you, are you married? Say no, I'm not married. Are you in a relationship? Complicated. Don't worry, you see the complication. <laughs> You are denying your wife. We are not married. Okay, don't worry. It's complicated. You will tell us what is complicated in it. If I was there when you were marrying her. I don't understand. People don't know that this word is strong. Mm. You see this word? How can I tell people I don't have children? When I have two mighty prophets. Hey. I'm Amen. denying their prophetic oil. Exactly. Then I'll tell you I don't have. Of a truth, I can tell people I don't have children. In fact, I'm single, they will believe. Yeah. Is it not true? It's true, sir. Yeah, God, my dream come true. Hey. 
Fire go kill you. Yes. <laughs> Is somebody hearing me? Yes. Fire go burn you. In fact, you will sleep at night. You wake up in the morning, fire don't remove the pint. <laughs> Children are what? They are blessings. Children are the heritage of God. Amen. Why will you be denying your own children? I think I'm preaching to some people here. Yes, sir. Yes, I must say it. Go further. Sir. There are people watching us on TV now. They will watch and see. We have people. How can you be a mother? You are denying. They say, ah, do you have a child? The man who loves you will marry you and have your children to father them. Amen. Don't marry any man that will not father your children. Is somebody hearing me? Don't marry. If the man loves you, let him love you the way you are. I am a single mother with 14 children. If you like me, marry me. If you don't like me, go your way. Somebody shout fire. fire. Somebody shout fire. Somebody shout fire. fire. It's not about children, it's about love. Oh, you love me? Uh, Brah, I have 21. I'm not 21 in age, 21 children. You are ready to carry me. <laughs> be ready to carry responsibility. Uh, better for worse. Huh? Don't hide. Because one thing that destroys marriages is when the man or the woman begin to detect lies. You are a man, you have children with other women. Uh, tell the woman, I have, uh, by the grace of God, God has blessed me with 12. <laughs> Jacob somebody shot fire then the lady said hi boo you see she came back with left she was say, I love you so that by the time you see Batelio coming some of them will have different eyes <laughs> The lady would not say, I'm an, I'm an, I'm <laughs> You were told that the man have 12 children. So you, there are some who have bone leg and they are coming towards you. So you must be prepared for war. You ask a man, don't hide from the woman. Oh, I have a child somewhere before. I've made mistake in the past. I have a son. I have a daughter. Okay, now the woman will consider if she will come in or she will say no. Not in the course of the marriage, you say no. I never wanted you to leave me. I never wanted to break your heart. Break my heart now so that I can live well. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, you break my heart later. The woman, there are women who say they will never marry a man that have child with another woman. Most especially if the, 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 the baby mama is still alive. They have their reasons. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. And there are men who say they will never marry any woman that have a child. They have their own reason. Oh, yes. And there are men who say, I don't care. Whether you have or you don't have or I go marry you. Somebody say, I go marry you. Shut fire. fire. Simple. Stop doing hanky panky. Some people can be so deceptive. At the time we come now, all that all the lies you lied. One day the child will just call, Oh mama. Oh, oh mama. <laughs> Who is mamarizing you? <laughs> hey. Somebody say, hey. Yeah. Oh mama. <laughs> we will go to a sanky all of us. <laughs> Read the scripture for me because of time. Amen. Please be careful not to drink wine or similar drink uh -huh. and not eat anything unclean. That was the prophecy given to the woman. You must not drink or eat sensitive things. That is for the woman now. Because you are not just carrying an ordinary child. You are going to carry a Nazareth. Amen. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, sir. That's why you see that sometimes misfortune can fall on anybody, whether you're a Christian, when you, when you disannounce or you disobey the instruction of prophecy. Mm. Don't do this. I remember there was a time I gave a lady here a prophecy, tell your father not to come out yes, on a particular day. 
Yes. I can't remember who that person is. I said, tell your father not to come out on that particular day. Yes. If the man tried or if he did come out that day, it would have been wasted now. Yes. God send his angels tell this woman not to be a woman that takes strong wine. Mm. How can you be a Christian? People who are not born again are struggling to take three bottles. It, when you take 12, that is when you know that you just sat. Yay! We are there for yesterday. A lady came to introduce what she's selling to us. An apostle told her, Why are you full of wine? You are drunk. He said, He begins to say, No, I, uh, I don't drink every time. Then why are you drinking like this? You want to say things to people? You are at the airport, you meet all manners of calibers of men, women of substance. Then before you talk, Alcohol, the thing choke my heart, mm. and I quickly carry my milkshake. I sip it as a battle sender. Mm. <laughs> Somebody shot fire. Fire. Yeah. No, there are places you go to. There are things you don't eat. Yes. Uh. Yeah. Airport is not for children. Mm. There, are, there are ways you enter. The security will ask, "Who are you looking for?" Mm. No, it's true. How can you be selling things to people who are flying up and down? They are smelling alcohol. Then I ask her, who are you? He says, I have a lot of problems. I said, I know. Then the apostle was so very hard on, on her. He said, can you be a woman? He says, I have a problem. I even invited her. I don't know whether she's here. I don't think she's here. Because the way she was talking. There are, there are things you don't do when you're a child of prophecy. Amen. There are things you don't do when you're a child of what? Of prophecy. Because when you engage yourself in that art, in a short while, you'll be cut off. Amen. The angels were telling the, telling the woman, don't take strong wine, don't do this, don't do that. Now, before they came, when the child is born, the child hair must not be touched with razor blade. And the child must not take a strong one. Why? Because he's in Nazareth. He's, he has been prophesied to deliver the people. Amen. But in a short while, when this child was born, he manifested as a prophecy. But there was another woman that stood in Judges chapter 16 that stood against the manifestation of the prophecy. Can I pray for some of you here? Yes, sir. No one will stop you. Amen. Can I pray for some of you here? Yes. No one will stop you. Amen. No one will stop that good prophecy. No one will stop what you are waiting for. No one will swallow what you are prayed for. In the mighty name of Jesus. Quickly, because of time, what are the factors that can destroy prophecy? Factors or powers that can destroy prophecy. Number one, your lifestyle. What did I say? Your what did I say? Lifestyle. The lifestyle of Samson killed him. His parents actually warned him. God said, We must not marry from these people. Did he hear? No. Your lifestyle can, what? can waste you. You are a child of God every day. You are, you are on the road. Every day you are, you are being seen in an unguided environment. You go to places you are not supposed to go. You do things you are not supposed to do. Sometimes I begin to ask myself a question. When we close here late at night, when we are driving home, there are places where those uh, prostitutes are saying, you will see matured men on tie. Good cars. I begin to ask myself a question. What could make these responsible men, if they are really responsible, to be doing with these ladies at this time of the night? Mm. And you must try to understand that these girls that are doing all these things, they are not ordinary. Yeah. Because they themselves, they are protecting against, protecting themselves against the Philistines that will attack them. Yes, sir. Oh, you don't understand me? I hear you, sir. There are so many of them, none of them go empty-handed. They are going with muti, either muti to seduce men, muti to protect themselves, and muti to bind a particular man to themselves. Oh, yes. That's why you see that some men cannot do with prostitutes. They can see genuine women to marry, but when prostitute has entered their blood because they have been tied to the blood of a prostitute. Lifestyle. If you are living anyhow, you can't be fulfilled. If you are living a planned life, you can't be fulfilled. If you are living a prayerless life, you can't be fulfilled. If you are living a kind of arrogant and disobedient child, you can't be fulfilled. Your lifestyle. There are people when they lie to you, you feel like getting yourself hurt. 
So people can lie. I can't trust certain people. I, tr I, I tested them once they failed. Some people can lie. Don't trust people who lie. Is somebody hearing me? Yes, sir. Don't put, don't trust them. If I, when I'm sure of something and I ask the person and the person deny, I will never trust the person again. What made the person to lie? We still make the person to lie again. Lies. Life side. Life side. Something that will destroy you and somebody is canceling you to, 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 to desist from it and you are saying no. Oh, you can't be fulfilled. Life side. You are a lady, you will dress anyhow. Can I tell you this? Responsible men will not mess up with their real wife they will marry. Did you hear me? I hear you. Responsible men. Do you know that there are men who are not born again? They are flat. They won't sleep with the lady until they marry the lady. But they are busy sleeping with ladies outside. Huh? Yes, sir. You know what is their promise? I will marry the woman a virgin. Mm. But they are busy sleeping with all manners of ladies. Oh, you thought that if the man sleep with you, sleep with you, is the assurance that he will marry you by mistake, get pregnant, and see if you will not be a single mother. They are you thought that all these men are stupid? They are not born again, but they are wise. Before they touch you, you say, hey, let's go. Go where? Where are you going? <laughs> Lifestyle. Lifestyle. I have told you here. If you are a man, you have not paid obola on a lady. You just put the lady in the house, you are delaying yourself. You are a woman, the man have not paid obola for you, you are the one who put him in the house. Maybe before you will not go and pay Lobola for him. <laughs> Lifestyle. Ah. Your family are suffering as a woman. A man that you know that he will not marry you because you want to hold him down to marry you. You are busy spending on him. Shame. I'm not saying it's wrong to help your future partner. Huh? Yes, sir. Try to get me. Why should you be begging a man to marry you? You have started begging now. When he has not even put ring in your hand, you don't even have gray hair now, or you have parts. You are begging already. <laughs> oh boy, say my friend. My friend. <laughs> you go beg, go. You go beg, go. <laughs> Thank you for listening. For more information, please contact Christ and His Church Ministries International. Feel this place, yeah. Holy Spirit, so to this place.